Welcome to the Superbook Show. And today's quiz, Bible or not the Bible? <laughs> That's right, today's show is a game show, and I'm your host, Miriam. Oh, thank you. <laughs> today's contestants are Lawrence and Morgan. <laughs> Let's get to know our contestants. Now, Lawrence, what is your favorite Bible verse? My favorite Bible verse is John chapter 11, verse 35. Jesus wept, just like Morgan will be doing after she loses. Very nice. And uh, Morgan, what's yours? My favorite Bible verse is Proverbs eleven twelve. Hmm. With pride then comes disgrace, but with the humble comes wisdom. Hmm. Okay, sounds like our contestants really know their Bible, which is great because today's show is about the Bible. There will be three rounds. Each round has questions that get a little tougher and the points go higher. For each round, I will give you a quote. It may be from the Bible, it may not be from the Bible. The first person to ring that bell gets a chance to say Bible or not Bible. If they get it wrong, the points go to the other player. Any questions? I think we've got it. I think I'm ready to go. All right, let's get to it. Round one, there will be five questions and each question will be worth one point. God helps those who help themselves. Bible. Lawrence, uh, what is your answer? Bible. I'm sorry, Lawrence, that answer is incorrect. It is actually not the Bible. That is a quote by Ben Franklin in 1757. Poor Richard's Almanac. All right, Morgan, that means you get a point since Lawrence got it wrong. What was that about um, the prideful? Uh, you won by default. Disgrace? Default. Default. On to the next question. <laughs> But Martha, the dead man's sister, protested. Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Morgan, what's your answer? Bible. That is correct. Yes, that is from the Bible, specifically Lazarus' sister in John chapter 11, verse 39. <laughs> On to the next question. I see you moving that bell. No, uh -uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Don't throw your pearls to pigs. They will trample the pearls, then turn and attack you. Not the Bible. Lawrence, <laughs> is that your final answer? No, it is the Bible. <laughs> that is correct! Yeah! Woo! I'm so winning. That is the Bible. It is in fact Matthew chapter seven, verse six. And it is a quote by Jesus, Lawrence. <laughs> by Jesus. I remember, my favorite. <laughs> On to the next question. Okay. Well, it's no secret that the best thing about a secret is secretly telling someone your secret, thereby secretly adding another secret first. to their secret collection of secrets I secretly. I hit it first. Can I finish the quote, no, no. please? Morgan. What? <laughs> is that the Bible or not the Bible? Not the Bible. That is correct. That is, in fact, SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, wow. Well. Yep, wise man. What, what did they say um, about the humble again in Proverbs 11, 12? Uh, I, I, I thought it was something about wisdom. On to the next quote. Wow, we are zooming through this round. Indeed. You guys are fantastic. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I am, at least. <laughs> all right. Last quote for round one. Put this above hand. all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day. Thou canst not be false to any man. Yes, Lawrence. The Bible. Lawrence, I'm afraid that is not the Bible. What is that, Shakespeare? Or? Yes, that's what? Right. Ah! Hamlet oh, from can William I, can, Shakespeare. Can I have Shakespeare. double points, Kara? No. No. <laughs> no. No. Well, I heard thoust. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like that's the end of our round. Kara, what's the score look like? Morgan five, Lawrence zero. What? But I got the I got that one right. You actually Can't touch this. Guessed incorrectly, but Miriam gave you another chance. And even though you're right after she gave you another chance, the points still counts against you. Wow. 
And on to round two. There will be four questions, and each question will be worth two points. Okay. You guys ready? Born ready. Here's the first quote. Find me a woman who can talk to the spirits of the dead. I'll go to her and find out what's going to happen. What? <laughs> Florence, your answer? Not the Bible? Florence! <laughs> That is incorrect. Uh, it is actually the Bible. I'm gonna stop answering. King Saul in 1 Samuel chapter 28, verse 7. You know what they say about the humble. No, no, don't even. <laughs> On to the next default. quote. <laughs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Sorry, Morgan, Lauren. Lauren? <laughs> Lauren's got that one first. <laughs> Would you mind repeating the quote, please? <laughs> The Lord works in mysterious ways. Good. Good. Would you mind spelling it? <laughs> your answer, Lawrence. We need Could your you answer. Could you use it in a sentence, please? <laughs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> in the Bible? Ah! No! I'm sorry, Lawrence. That is not no! the Bible. At this point, I don't even think I need to touch you the bell. Don't. It is a hymn, Lawrence. For a five hymn. cents a day, you can help Lawrence or Lauren get a better Bible education. Yes, it is a hymn by William Cooper in the 18th century. On to the next quote. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. I don't even want to hit the bell. You go for it, okay? Go. I, I please, after you, ladies first. Can someone please answer the question? I have nothing to lose. I just got four points by Lawrence, so. Okay, yeah. No. Morgan, is not it Bible or not the Bible? But need to be felt by the heart, not the Bible. That is correct! Ah! That is a quote from Helen Keller who happened to be blind and deaf. <laughs> That's deep. Gotta love that lady. This is the last quote for round two. Lawrence? Yeah. We're rooting for you. Woo woo. Not yeah, me. We are. <laughs> uh. I have been reduced to skin and bones and have escaped death by the skin of my teeth. Lawrence. In the Bible. That is correct. Yes, that is from Job chapter 19, verse 20. Good job. He had to fight all his life. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> Struggling. I'm, all right. First now. That is the end of round two. Kara, let us know the scores. All right. We've got Morgan with 11 <laughs> and Lawrence with 10. Woo! <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. We are in the final round where there will be three questions, and each question will be worth three points. Dun, dun. Are you ready? Been Indeed. ready <laughs> to beat Lawrence. Who's Let's get ready? to it. <laughs> Here is the first quote. Spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without leaving happier. Morgan? Not the Bible. That is correct. That is a quote from Mother Teresa. I was going to say that. What? Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Quote number two. Let me gulp down some of that red stuff. I'm starving. <laughs> Lawrence, is that Bible or not the Bible? First of all, <laughs> not the Bible. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm so sorry, Lawrence. Are you where? <laughs> but that is the Bible. Where? Let me gulp some of that red stuff? Great question. Is this a Kool-Aid commercial? That is a quote from Esau in Genesis <laughs> chapter 25. God, you've answered my prayer. <laughs> Let me gulp down. Where is gulp in the Bible? I want to see exactly where gulp is in the Bible. Last quote. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seed that you plant. Lawrence? Is that the Bible or not the Bible? Tell us, Lawrence. Not the Bible. That is correct! Yes! <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. that quote is not the Bible. It is actually from Robert Louis Stevenson in Admiral 
skinny. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lawrence is coming up with a total of probably like let four me, points. Let me gulp down some of that red stuff. <laughs> Maybe right. I'll help you learn the Bible. Let's get our final <laughs> score from Kara. Kara. Lawrence, Lawrence won, right? Lawrence five. Yeah. Morgan 17. Wow. Na, 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 na. Very close. Goodbye. Very Goodbye. Close. Goodbye. Goodbye. That concludes the end of our game show. Let us know how you did. Hopefully better than Lawrence. Let me go down some of that red stuff. You, you can't tell me you would have said the Bible <laughs> with a straight face. All right, we have one last question. Oh, is this worth 110 points? This can be worth 110 points. All right, here we go. Very specific. <laughs> Finish this sentence. His word is forever, forever alive. alive. I rang the bell first. I rang the bell first. I rang the bell first. We'll there see we go. you next time. Woo! Want to know what's in the Bible or not? Do what I should have done and download the Superbook Bible app. You can find it on our website, thesuperbookshow.com. <laughs> and for more fun with the Bible and the Superbook Show, check back here with us. Bye. 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 See you next time. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh no, not, not at all. <laughs> she lost it. Fresh and kicks and pants. Gulp in the Bible. And Esau said to Jacob, give me some of that bread stuff to gulp down for our mix. That is so good. Isn't that Take great? that, take that. <laughs> that was the really good. My mom is not gonna be down. happy. She's gonna be like, really boy, you embarrass me? You embarrass me? You are a pastor's kid. And you out here embarrassing me on- <laughs> Come on, Lawrence. On national television YouTube, <laughs> I guess, Mom. <laughs>